everyone. This is Miss Cindy. Welcome to our virtual Sunday school lesson. Let's begin with our prayer. Thank you, God, for another day. Guide my steps along the way and show me now the things to do to make my life a joy to you. Amen. Today, we're going to learn about a special Sunday that's coming up called Palm Sunday. It's the first day of what we call Holy Week. Holy Week is Jesus's last week on earth before he dies on the cross for our sins. I want you to think about some parades you may have seen, either in person or on TV. Maybe you were even in a parade, that would be pretty cool. I'm thinking of a 4th of July parade, St. Patrick's Day parade, maybe a circus parade. On TV, you could have maybe saw Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York City with that Macy's puts on. Who was in that parade? Santa, right? Yes. Or the Rose Bowl Parade, which is usually in January. Or maybe you even saw a boat parade that we have at Christmas time here in Palm Beach County. There's all different kinds of parades. What is a parade? A parade is where people go from one point to another along a special route. In our story, Jesus is going on a parade into the city of Jerusalem. What do the people do that watch the parades? Sometimes they cheer, they maybe wave a flag, wave their hands, yell things, maybe sing along to the music. Maybe they're watching the marching bands or the clowns or the floats that are decorated. Parades are a lot of fun. So our story today is in my first hands-on Bible and it's found on page 324. Jesus rides a donkey. If you don't have this Bible, you can find the story in the book of Mark, chapter 11, verses 1 through 11. I'll read the story. You can read with me, follow along, or just listen. As Jesus and his disciples approached Jerusalem, they came to the towns of Bethpage and Bethany on the Mount of Olives. Jesus sent two of them on ahead. Go into that village over there, he told them. As soon as you enter, it, you will see a young donkey tied that no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks, what are you doing? Just say, the Lord needs it and will return it soon. The two disciples left and found the colt, turn the page, standing in the street, tied outside the front door. Here's a picture. In this picture, there's two. As they were untying it, some bystanders demanded, what are you doing untying that colt? They said what Jesus had told them to say and they were permitted to take it. Then they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their garments over it and he sat on it. Many in the crowd spread their garments, those are clothes, on the road ahead of him. And others spread leafy branches like palm branches they had cut in the fields. Jesus was in the center of the procession and the people all around him were shouting, praise God. Another word for that is Hosanna. Try that, Hosanna. Blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord. And here's the picture. There's the shirt and there's palm branches. Turn the page. Blessings on the coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Praise God in highest heaven. So Jesus came to Jerusalem and went into the temple. After looking around carefully at everything, he left because it was late in the afternoon. Then he returned to Bethany with the 12 disciples. So where was Jesus going? He's going into the city of Jerusalem. And what were the people doing that were watching him? They were cheering. 
Hosanna. And they were waving palm branches. And some even laid palm branches on the ground and their shirts so that the donkey could walk on them. Here's, I have two pictures to show you what some artists think this may have looked like. Here's this one. You see Jesus in the middle? People waving the palm branches. And here's another picture. Look at this one. I like the little girl or boy down in the corner here. Why did Jesus choose a donkey and not a horse? Here, here's a picture. You can see the difference. The donkey's smaller than the horse. Why do you think he chose the, a donkey? Well, I think he chose it because Jesus wasn't a fancy man. He wanted to show people that he was common, just like them. So he chose a donkey instead of a fancy horse. So as I said, Palm Sunday is the first day of Jesus's last week on earth. To find out what happens after Palm Sunday, you can go in our little Bible here, and you can read the story about Jesus washes the disciples' feet, and that's found in the book of John, chapters 13, 1 through 17. The next one, is the Last Supper, and that's in the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verses 17 through 30. That's the last meal that Jesus eats on earth. The next story is, Jesus prays in the garden. He does that on Good Friday, just before he's arrested. And that's in Mark chapter 14, verses 32 to 42. And also on Good Friday, Jesus dies on a cross. And that's in the book of Mark chapter 15. Well, usually on Palm Sunday in Gardens Presbyterian Church, the children of the church have their own parade down the center aisle, waving palm branches during one of the songs. Well, we can't do that this year because we still have Zoom church, but I thought it would be fun if we all found a palm branch from our yard or a neighbor's yard or a park. And during children's time on March 28th, which is Palm Sunday, we could raise our palm branches and say, praise God, Hosanna, and have our own special little celebration. Well, just like the people in the Bible who praised Jesus and said, Hosanna, we can too. We can praise him by singing, we can praise him by praying, and we can shout Hosanna. Everybody do it. Hosanna! Let's say our ending prayer it is found on page 329, down here where the little kangaroo is. Dear God, we know that Jesus is the King. Help us remember to praise and worship him every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Hosanna! I look forward to seeing you on Zoom Church on Palm Sunday. Goodbye.